Hey y'all, it's Sheree, what's up? In this video, I am showing you how I combine my favorite hair growth ingredients for a super moisturizing leave-in conditioner that helps promote extreme hair growth and length retention. It's so bomb that you'll never have to buy another conditioner ever again. You ready? And don't forget to like this video because you know the recipe will change the natural hair game forever. Trust me, you'll never have dry hair ever, ever, ever again. Let's get this video to 3,000 likes and I will love you forever. And subscribe because I'm going to keep this awesome content coming. I made this recipe as simple as possible, so you're just going to need a few ingredients. You're going to need aloe vera gel or juice. I've used them both and they both work well. Water infused with fenugreek or fenugreek tea vegetable glycerin. You can skip it if you're sensitive to it, but my hair completely loves it. Aloe vera oil or any oil of your choice, choose your favorite. Shea butter, gold from the ancestors, and BTMS 25. I will talk about BTMS later on in this video. I've used it as a leave-in conditioner, moisturizer, rinse out conditioner, and deep conditioner. It is amazing no matter the use, and that's on booty crack length hair. Everything will be linked down below as always. Before we hop into making this conditioner, let's cover the basics. A conditioner is made when you combine a liquid with an oil to make creamy goodness. It's that simple. You can use almost any liquid and almost any oil to create a basic conditioner. Let's start with the first phase, combining all our liquid ingredients. You technically can just use plain water for example, but y'all know, I have to do a little bit more, and dry thirsty hair also needs a little bit more, especially if booty crack length hair is the goal. You're going to need 5 tablespoons of fenugreek tea. When making conditioner, many videos speak in ounces and grams, but I wanted to make this so easy that anyone could click on this video and follow along. So I'm using cooking measurements instead of cosmetic measurements based on volume. Hope that helps. Fenugreek tea is super easy to make. So let's pause the recipe so I can show you how to make it right quick. All you need is two teaspoons of fenugreek seeds and four ounces or half a cup of distilled or purified hot water. You can also use fenugreek powder. One teaspoon is more than enough to half a cup of water. I've tried both fenugreek powder and seeds and the results were the same. I let the fenugreek steep overnight to 24 hours and literally that's it. The next morning the seeds have doubled in size and the amazing nutrients have been fused into the water. You strain the seeds and you are left with a hair growth elixir. When straining the powder you'll have to use a nut milk bag or cheesecloth versus a regular strainer so that no residue is left in the hair. The fenugreek tea is the only thing that needs to be prepared the night or day before. Like I said, we need 5 tablespoons of fenugreek tea. Fenugreek is high in protein and nicotinic acid making it a powerhouse in treating hair fall, hair thinning, baldness and dandruff while promoting accelerated hair growth. If you are protein sensitive, substitute fenugreek tea for hibiscus tea, plain water, or any other liquid. Next up, aloe vera gel. Is it okay if I show you an easy way to make it? Cool. All you need is fresh aloe vera. I show you how to wash and remove the irritant or poison from aloe in a previous video. Click the card above to see how I do that. My aloe is fresh from my daddy's garden and I needed about two leaves. You may need just one. I cut them up in squares and throw them in my Nutribullet. I personally use the whole aloe vera leaf. It saves time rather than scooping out the inner fillet and I feel better about not wasting the outer leaf. If you are sensitive to the outer leaf, be sure to remove it. Some people complain it causes itchiness, but I don't really experience that. I blend in my Nutribullet for 1-2 to two minutes. I've spoken about aloe vera multiple times on my channel, but aloe vera is amazing for conditioning the hair and scalp. In this recipe, it adds shine, moisture, and slip. Like fenugreek, it promotes hair growth. I strain the aloe with a nut milk bag. This guarantees that no chunks will be left in the hair. If you're too lazy to make aloe vera juice or gel, you can use a store-bought version. However, 
Believe me when I say that nothing store-bought can compete with the magic that nature provides. The slip, nutrients, and benefits are much higher in a homemade version. I mean, look at that. Have you ever seen a store-bought version so amazing? Yeah, I thought so. Like the fenugreek tea, I used 5 tablespoons. Now for vegetable glycerin. I used 2 tablespoons. I love adding glycerin to my leave-on products. It helps with slip and because it is a humectant, it draws moisture from the environment into our dry hair strands. If you want to keep things super simple, you can stop right here at the liquid phase and use these three ingredients as a leave-in spray or hair refresher. It is really up to you. But if you're ready to take it up a notch, ha, the time is now. Time to move on to the oil phase. The first thing we're going to need is an emulsifier. I know you have probably gotten a bit thrown off because earlier in the video, I told you that a conditioner was a combination of water and oil. The good news is that it is still in fact true. However, we all know that water and oil don't actually mix. So to prevent the separation of our product, we need to use an emulsifier to combine our water and oil phase. BTMS 25 has entered the chat. Derived from colza oil, BTMS-25 includes methantrimonium methyl sulfate and satira alcohol. You have probably seen these ingredients on many popular hair products, haven't you? It is an emulsifying agent that combines water and oil. In this recipe, it serves as an excellent conditioner and adds slip or detangling capabilities. We just need one tablespoon. We also need one tablespoon of shea butter one of my favorite butters for my hair and skin. Shea butter is an emollient. It has the ability to soften and smooth the hair strands. It protects the outermost layer of our hair from sun and physical damage. I don't want my hair to be weighed down, so I use more oil than butter. I use my DIY aloe vera oil. I have a dedicated video on how I make it, so you can check it out in the card above. It is very easy to make. I am using three tablespoons. It adds moisture and smoothness to my hair. Now it's about to be mixing time. It's finally time to take both mason jars over to the stove. We have to melt the butter and BTMS down in order to properly combine everything. You can set both jars in a hot water bath for about 20 minutes. You need just about an inch or so of water in a saucepan on medium heat. After the BTMS is completely liquefied, I pull out my immersion blender and I start blending the oil phase while I slowly pour in the liquid phase. I do this while the jar is still on the heat because BTMS can solidify quickly. It gets real, real fast. I pulse it a bit to combine both the liquid and oil and then I remove the emulsion from the heat and continue to blend. Yes, you can use a mixer for this, but I prefer the results when I use an immersion blender. Once you blend the mix for one to two minutes, it needs to cool so that all the ingredients can set and so that the mixture can thicken up. I usually put it in the fridge for 20 to 30 minutes to speed up the process. Once it is out of the fridge, I give it another mix just to make sure everything is to my liking. You can stop right here, but I did add a little something something. I went in with a few drops of an essential oil to further stimulate my scalp and promote hair growth. I am using spearmint, which is absolutely one of my favorites, but use your fave. Finally, but most importantly, I am going in with half a teaspoon of a broad spectrum preservative. What I see a lot of YouTubers skip is the importance of using preservatives. Without a preservative, water-based recipes have to be used immediately or stored in the fridge for one to two weeks. For a longer shelf life and to store outside of the fridge, preserve your conditioner. I will link the one I usually use. This can extend a recipe for at least three months, but even up to a year. Otherwise, your product will be a breeding ground for mold and bacteria, and that's not cute. If preservation is a bit overwhelming for you, just make small batches. I give the product one final mix just to make sure everything is evenly distributed. This recipe creates eight ounces of yummy hair food. 
It is ridiculously hydrating and full of ingredients that will grow your hair long and thick. I pour the mix into a bottle for easier application and storage, and it is ready to be used for whatever your hair needs. Let me show you one way I use it as a leave-in conditioner. In this demo, I start off on clean hair that has been air drying for an ungodly amount of time. Click the card above for my wash day. I filmed the entire process and the video is already live on my channel. Soft hair starts with a good washing routine. My hair is ready and able to absorb all this goodness. I start with a section in the back per usual and I do some light finger detangling to warm up my low porosity strands. You see how nice and creamy this looks? Almost like a dessert? Well, trust me, it is a treat for the hair. I slather it on because, well, <laughs> I'm heavy handed, but also it's affordable to make. It is definitely cheaper than my favorite $20 leave-in. As soon as this stuff touched my hair, the hair angels were sangin', okay, sangin'. My hair instantly felt soft. It is the softest my hair has ever felt with a leave-in product. I also use it to easily finger detangle. It has great slip. Then I seal in all the moisture with just one product, my DIY grease. This is also unbelievably hydrating. If you want a video on this, like this video and comment down below. 3000 likes is the goal y'all. I typically layer leave-ins and creams, but this leave-in is so good on its own. I just needed to seal it in. That's literally it. Y'all, look at that definition. Look at that shine. Whew. This is what we deserve, y'all. This is what the ancestors planned for us. I then braid my hair up. And yes, my braids are getting long, y'all. I continue this process throughout my entire head, adding the leave-in and smoothing and pressing it into my hair strands. Going in with just my fingers to detangle, sealing with my new favorite grease, and braiding the section up. I did 10 braids throughout my head and this is what they are looking like. This is two days later and I kept my hair under this bonnet, but that was a bit of a mistake because my hair was nowhere close to drying. Child, <laughs> thick, low porosity hair problems. Anyway, I had some things to do so I had to take it down regardless. I lost my definition, but what I had was shine, body, and most importantly, softness. My hair looked and felt like a cloud. My hair is growing like weeds, getting thick, and looking better than ever before. I am so happy with this conditioner. Like I've said, I've been using it in multiple ways and I am obsessed, okay? This is the one guys. This is the secret to amazing and beautiful hair. This was a week later and I didn't add water or any other products. After simply rebraiding my hair, I was able to get a defined fluffy braid out. I really hope this video was helpful and easy to follow. Y'all, I worked hard on it because I love you and I want you and your hair to prosper. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and share this video and spread the hair love around. Check out my other DIY recipes so we can grow together. Happy growing, y'all. Here's to booty crack length hair. Peace, y'all.